Hey guys, Dark Dragonism C here, and today I am g going to be showing you, um, kind of a tutorial. Uh, I'll be showing you what all of these command blocks for, which if you've watched my other videos, you probably do know. It is the vanilla quest system in vanilla, it, well, vanilla quest system. I was gonna say vanilla quest system in vanilla Minecraft, but, <sighs> vanilla quest system. Um, this system does work in 1.8 as well as 1.9. The only thing is that that Telrot tutorial I did is kind of outdated. I will be making another one because they changed Telra a lot. Now uh, it uses like straight Telra, no exceptions, no leniency with it. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually the villager himself, Retset. Um, uh, this quest system is a recreation of the Windcraft quest system. Uh, as you can see, if I power this command block here, it says basically in the Windcraft style um, of text. But the name Ritset is actually an anagram of Tester. T-E-S-T-E-R. Um, but this command block here is to reset my scoreboard, and this chest here is for the item that we need for the quest. Um, the command block system in general, with 1.9 and the things you're able to do with command blocks, it could definitely be polished a lot, um, but this is just what I thought of while uh, I was in the car originally thinking of how to make this. Um, but anyway, with the villager ret set here, um, I guess I'll just place a command block down here. Uh, to summon a villager that doesn't move, that can't be, well, shit, <laughs> that can be pushed around, I, I'll need to look up how to fix that. I could probably just make a command block that, um, keeps putting him in the same position. But anyway, um, so, the way you do that is, first of all, you would just summon villager, and then you could just summon at the block above the command block, and now for the tags... Uh, I'm guessing you would want the uh, noise this is that the villager makes, but if you don't, the first tag we will do is silent colon, which you do colon when you hold shift and hit the button to the right of L on your keyboard, but colon 1B. That is if you want the villager to be silent, I don't, so I will do 0B, then comma, then no AI colon one. That's so he doesn't start wandering off. Then another comma. Then custom. Whoops. Custom name visible. Oh, and also every single tag that I'm doing, all the capitals have to be capital. All the lower cases have to be lowercase. Just reminding everyone of that. But custom name visible colon one comma custom name colon and you could do now whatever name you want the villager to have uh i'll just do i don't know um quest test then you do a comma then you do offers colon and then uh open close curly bracket so it doesn't have any trades, and then another curly bracket. Then you could just power this, and quest test. So I can right-click him, and uh, that scoreboard there I'll be telling you about that in a minute. It is for the quest system itself, but you could right-click him, and there won't be any trades. Um, you can, uh, crap, wait. Alright, so, uh, I guess the no AI tag s doesn't stop the villagers from falling anymore, but you could just fix that by TPing them to the same position. But anyway, it still stops them from moving around on their own. But, um, I will just clear the scoreboard real quick. Uh, you do that by doing scoreboard objectives and, uh, score, oh, shit. Scoreboard players, I'm sorry, and you could just reset, and then you could just reset yourself. 
Um, but anyway, so the scoreboard in question is the scoreboard of right click. Um, the scoreboard that you want to do, the command, is slash scoreboard objectives add. Then the name of the objective you want, I'll just do testing quest system and stat dot talk to villager. You could just do T A L K and then tab and it'll show up. That means it'll increase the scoreboard by one each time you right click a villager and then enter. Test name. Whoops. Anyway, let's just do testing. There we go. New objective, testing. Now if I do slash scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, testing, and I right click Rhett Set over here. Hello adventurer, my name is Rhett Set and I am dire need of your help. Blah 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 blah. But testing shows up there. Now I can remove testing just by doing scoreboard objectives, remove, and then the scoreboard objective name. I'll just clear that. So you see it still works even though it isn't there. It's because I have scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar. I have the scoreboard objective right click. So, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next part. Alright, so, the next part that we're going to be doing is the tell raw portion of it and all the commands. Um, this one will be a doozy. But, anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a fill clock. I haven't really gotten the hang of the whole 1.9 command block thing. I'll have to really learn how to do that. But for now, just make a fill clock. And then, uh, on the side, of, one of the sides of the redstone block, Put in the command slash scoreboard players test. Then at E, you could do coordinates of where the villager is. Um, you could even do in relation to the villager itself, which I think is actually a better idea than the coordinates. But if you're going to do the coordinates, you do the coordinates first, then comma, then the radius. I'd advise doing two. So it's in with it, so it's within the reach. Then type equals player, so it tests for if there's a player within two blocks of the coordinates of the villager. And then right click one one. So that tests if there's a score of one in the right click for any player who's near this block here within two blocks. So within click distance of the villager. So then this command, then there's a comparator facing into the next command block, which the command block is a tell route command. Now, if you saw my tell route tutorial, this is different from that tutorial. Now, what you have to do is slash tell raw. It's the same as before, tell raw at A. You could even do like at E and then like coordinates. Maybe let's just do the same coordinates as before. 56, negative 17, 37, 2, type equals player. So it'll only say that to the player there. But anyway, so you do that. Then you do square bracket, curly bracket, quotation. Now this is different from before. Text. Quotation, colon, quotation, I'll just do hi, then quotation, sorry for the dogs barking in the background, if you could hear that, quotation, comma, quotation, color, whoops, color, quotation, colon, quotation, let's just do red, then, uh, paper colors online, but then another quotation mark, and then to end it off, Curly bracket, square bracket. What? I forgot that I wasn't in the radius of the coordinates I put, but so as you can see, it works. Um, for now, 
uh, I'll just do at all to save room, but anyway, so if you want to have multiple colors, like it shows here with the dark green and the light green, uh, you would, instead of putting the other square bracket, you would do curly bracket, comma, another curly bracket, then you would do the quotations, text, and I'll just do spaceman, um... Then, instead of where you don't have the other quotation mark, you do have another quotation mark. Then color, and then the same thing as before, let's do blue. Then you end it off with the, cur the curly bracket, square bracket, to end off over here. And technically over there, because this ended that. So then it'll say, hi, man. And then you can keep continuing this. And then eventually have it do that. So you can keep going if you only want lines of dialogue. Um, and you keep upping the text by one. Like the score you need to have by one for right click. But here's where it gets complicated. Here is the item system. Now, there's definitely a much better way to do this. But I'll just be showing you the way I have it done. So we have another fill clock, and this time it tests for a score of four. Before you could see that this was a score whoops, that this was a score of two. It skips one, so you would have to click twice, just because of the system where if you don't have an item, it sets your score back to before the four. So the way this works is that both of these uh, this one tests for if you have a score of 4, and the redstone branches off in both directions. These two test for if you have the item named Retsets Gold, where, as you can see from the text, it's, Hello, adventurer, my name is Retset, pirates stole my gold, blah blah blah, get my gold back. Now, in this chest here is Retsets Gold. So, if you have a Red Sets Gold, you could hear pistons firing. Both of these test for it. And with this line here, the comparator activates this redstone, which activates both sides of the line. But the way I set it up is so if you have Red Sets Gold here, it continues the line. So it goes, oh, you have the gold, here's some rewards, and that's when you would finish the quest. And then it takes the gold away. By the time it would take an average person to finish reading it. Um, here, it cuts off the line, and here it will test for if you have a score, it will set the score right-click to zero, and then it will set the score right-click to three, so it will test back to there, and then it will, did you find my gold yet? It sets it to three, so it doesn't actually test for anything. Then, did you find my gold yet? And then... If it sets it to 4, this keeps going, this keeps going, because the line is cut off. If you don't have the gold, which I threw it on the ground, as you can see, this line isn't continued, it can't go through, but this line can. Um, but I'll pick up the gold, and I'll demonstrate, actually I'll demonstrate both. If you don't have the gold, and you go through the dialogue, blah blah blah, right click, score of 3, and then, did you find my gold yet? As you can see, it's setting it to 4, then to 0. Um, the reason why it's not setting it from 4 to 3 is because I tried it out, at least in 1.8 did this. It just kept spamming into the chat, did you find my gold yet? Did you find my gold yet? So I had to make it so it sets it to 0 first. So there's a slight delay. But did you find my gold yet? It'll keep saying that forever until you have the gold when you keep right-clicking him. But if you do have the gold, thank the gods you found my riches. Because of this, I think you deserve a reward, well, these emeralds do. Then, it keeps your score at 4, it takes the gold from your inventory, and the pistons deactivate, leaving your score at 4. You have to click twice again, because this command block here tests for if you have a score of 6. The reason why is because this is where you would have finished the quest. This is the after quest dialogue. The after quest dialogue just says, get out, I don't need your help anymore. Uh, this sets the block back to an unpowered comparator, and sets the score of right click to 5. The reason why it sets it to 5 is this command block here, if you have it, once you have a 6, it sets 
376, 56, negative 17, 255, 225, I mean, to redstone wire. Now, that block, if I'm not mistaken, 376, 17, 25, should be this block. Yes, it is. This block right here, it sets it to it sets it sets to a redstone wire. The reason why it sets it to a redstone wire is because this command block that branches off here sets the block to air. The reason why it sets the block to air is because, for some reason, when, if this block is redstone, um, if this block is redstone, I mean, the, um, if, like, that block is redstone, when you keep clicking, the redstone will still be there, and when it sets it, like, when you're four, it'll do that, and it'll still say, did you find my gold gate, and it'll be stuck there. So that's the reason why that that's broken once you get to this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I will remove the scoreboard from the sidebar, and you can see the full quest in action. Oh, alright, so let's start my next quest. Oh, Rhett said, alright. Hello, adventurer, my name's Rhett said, and I'm in dire need of help. You see, pirates stole all my riches. Can you help me get them back? Thank you for helping me with this. I heard them talking, and they said that they were taking my gold to Pirate Bay. Could you go get my gold back? Huh. Hmm. That was weird. Oh. Yeah, see, I know why. So, there is a thing with my quest system. If you click too fast, then huh. the quest system won't work. So make sure to quick, click semi-slowly. If you will be using this for a server, then uh, just make sure to state in like, the rules or something not to click quest NPCs too quickly. But anyway, uh, I will be... Alright. Hello, adventurer. My name is Rhett Said, and I'm in dire need of help. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for helping me with this. I heard that they said they were taking my gold to Pirate Bay. Did you find my gold yet? Did you find my gold yet? Did you find my gold yet? Oh, I need to go look for the gold. Hmm, I wonder where it is. That bedrock block looks suspicious enough. Oh, hey, I found the gold. Let's go back to Rhett Set. Hi, Rhett Set. Here's your gold. Thank the gods you found my riches. Hey, I just got a liquid emerald and 300,000 XP. Oh, let's see if there's any other dialogue. Get out. I don't need your help anymore. Wow, well, that's rude, Rhett said. But anyway, as you can see, that is a quest system in vanilla Minecraft. Um, It can be polished up a lot. But, uh, yeah. The, the uh, what's it called? The command for the villager will be in the description below. And so will the scoreboard commands. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. So, uh, yeah. See you guys.